Hi everybody and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to explain to you how I'm going to plant my peppers this year. I've had a very good experience with these peppers, the way I've been planting them in the soil. We've tried to get this soil tested before and it, it does need a lot of nutrients, but the, this year I decided to do a little special than other methods I've done before. I'm going to walk you through uh, how I'm planting my peppers this year. First of all, I'm, as you could tell, I spaced them somewhere around two feet from one pepper to another. And over there, I'm planting the smaller peppers that are around one and a half feet of space per each. The peppers that are over there are spaced in uh, less because they need to be, they grow in a smaller bush, which require, which means that they can be spaced more closer together. These over here, are, grow a little bigger but th these don't grow that big because these are hot burrito peppers but they're a special kind but I decided to plant them in the front so I can manage these a lot more easier. I'm going to show you that what kind of mixture I used before I planted them in the ground. This um, soil mixture is soil that is store-bought from Kellogg's um, organic soil and it also has a mix of peat moss in it. I added a little bit of, like, I added about half and half of each so that it's more fluffy. The peat moss helps with the fluffiness and the normal soil has a lot of nutrients so that it could be planted into the ground with enough nutrients. What I decided to do this year on the ground so that they can grow better than the year, last year that I planted them is in this soil, as you could see that I took out from the holes, it's kind of brownish. It, it's because I added some more of the, the Kellogg's uh, soil and then I added some fertilizer, um, nitrogen. It's called, I called, it's called uh, down to earth feather meal. It has a lot of uh, nitrogen and you need a lot of nitrogen to start peppers. So it's a good idea to buy a uh, heavy nitrogen uh, fertilizer. Now I'm gonna plant these peppers to take these out carefully, I'm going to first take out the tag so I don't lose what it is. Then I'm going to squish the bottom right here so I can loosen any roots that might be getting close to the bottom. And then squish it on the sides to make sure that it's loose enough. Grab it by right here as close as you can from the bottom of the soil. And then pull it out. Most better if you tilt it towards the ground. but Make sure you have your hand in like a U shape so that it, it, when it comes out, all the soil gets stuck to your hand. Grab it, turn it around, and I put it in. But for right now, I want it to stay a little bit in the air like this, so I have to add a little bit of the soil I took out originally. And then I put it on top, and I keep adding soil until it covers the base of the plant. And note, you have to remember to take off all these bottom leaves because these leaves make it lose more energy. You need to remove these leaves so that it can grow bigger and stronger. But this kind of pepper is okay, but if you have a, a pepper like uh, uh, that are um, jalapenos, antros, poblanos, anaheims, any of those kinds, um, those, if they start flowering at this small stage, it's not, it's not good for you to leave them. You should probably remove the flowers when they're coming out but since this is a small variety it's okay that you can leave these on these peppers are almost at their full size even though it looks like they're so tiny these are specialty peppers that are supposed to grow a uh, very dwarf sized so there's they're supposed to be i think less than half a foot which would be like probably like this so this is as long as I keep removing these bottom leaves, it's going to keep growing and it's and it's going to produce its small peppers. These are going to be similar to dwarf thigh peppers. Large peppers like these kinds, which are jalapeños, um, are if you start seeing any flower buds on them at this stage, even though it looks kind of big, it's still not ready for um, producing flowers. If you do see them, pl pluck them off no matter how much it hurts. <laughs> But uh, so that you can be able to make, let it grow bigger because the bigger the plant, the more 
peppers you'll get out of the of the single plant. Like I said, always remember to remove these leaves right here. And if you see any come out from the middle, I don't know if, um, if this is visible, but in between each of them, you could see like a little tiny sprout. That sprout, always remove those. Those are uh, suckers. Those will make sure, those will suck out lots of the water that is coming into the plant. And those aren't really useful for any sense. So it's better for you to leave this to grow. Oh, oh and also, if you, as you can see in this plant, it already divided into multiple stems. It, the peppers have a tendency to do that. And, it, and once they do that, it's because they're, these are already ready enough for you to stop pruning them from the bottom. So if you keep pruning them, don't, don't do it if you already see it's dividing into m multiple. This uh, one, you can tell, has one here and one, and one on the opposite side as well. And, and you can tell that um, these, are gonna, these are ready enough because well, the way peppers grow is first they start off as one single stem, such as this one. And then they start, after they reach a certain height, they'll start dividing into two, and then those two into another two, and keep growing into like they're like a tree shape. So th that's how the way peppers work, and you should always be watchful for those div divisions. Once you see those divisions coming up, then stop pruning them from the bottom, and, and if you start getting flowers from the bigger ones, remove them. So that you, you, until you, they get to a nice size. Like for jalapenos in this case, I, I can leave them for until they're about maybe one foot, one foot and a half. Uh, and, and then you could, uh, you can leave the flowers. And by that time, they should be able to produce large peppers. In this case, jalapenos are, these are our small jalapenos, not large jalapenos. And there's some exceptions when it comes to peppers, and this pepper right here, as you can tell, these are dwarf thighs. Dwarf thighs are very miniature peppers, but as you can obviously tell, they look like they already have a lot of bushy texture. Dwarf thighs split almost instantly after they're growing, so the best thing to do with dwarf thighs is don't prune them at all. Still, all the leaves that touch the ground, remove those because those, those can cause diseases. But when, when you're trying to do plant peppers that are bushy, it's just better to try to prune only the side so that it looks, so it's not so bulky. And that, that, but other than that, if these can flower very fast and those are okay for you to let them flower. The peppers are very miniature and they will be ready. Once they start flowering, they could be ready in like two weeks already and you could harvest them and there's going to be a lot of bunches of them. Thank you for watching these videos. I'll keep you updated on how these peppers are going to grow so I can show you how to harvest each kind of pepper and when to harvest each kind of pepper. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated and don't forget to click that notification bell. See you later!